What's up everybody, fan of here. Today I want to talk about the Pixel USB-C headphones that we were able to get from Google Officials website for around $30. It came in around 4 days, 5 days, and today we're going to do an unboxing. I've never bought like an official product from Google ever, so the box did arrive in just about perfect condition. came in a nice envelope, just like a giant envelope, and yeah, perfectly sealed. Uh, these were released way back in this is the cheaper non-wireless variant and you know back in the day everybody used to have those official Apple headphones and this is, this reminds me of them these these are basically USB C so they're not the same exactly but unless they used to run USB C way back in the day being an official product from Google we get the specifics down to a lot we have a cable length of 3.7 feet, wired, features a microphone microphone with 0 0.06 inch of height, and an on-dash cable for microphone mount type. Information pulled from Google itself, it's recommended to be used as a portable electronics, as a style in-ear, for use for mobile phone or sports, and coming in at a weight of 0.5 ounces. So the overall rating for this device does seem to be 4 stars, so without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. And I'm very excited to try this out. It's very, like, well sealed, so I'm just going to scratch at, like, the side. It reminds me of, like, unboxing, like, a 3DS or something. I really don't even want to mess up the box, but I'm starting to mess up the box. This is just so well sealed. Okay, I found out how to. I, I did not know it's not. It's not even fully, fully sealed. Is there? Now I don't. I don't even want to mess up the plastic. But there is a somewhat of an opening, so I can open this easily. And yeah, I'm very excited. I, I did not even open this for a few days. I wanted to open it for you guys. So, and the box comes apart like that. So. Right here we have a Google, <clears throat> or second like earphone logo, and nothing on the other side. Now we have a pull apart tab as well, so. <laughs> okay guys, so, I pulled it a little and it comes apart easily, but. Oh, here are the headphones themselves, I mean, <laughs> not too much in the box. And we do have an instruction manual. Here are the dimensions of the instruction manual. Seems to be in different languages. The um, French, I believe. <coughs> so, here are the pixel buttons themselves. This seems to be like a felt thing. And yes, we still have to lift it. Okay, everyone, going, going to go ahead and. Oh, it's rather latched on. So, it says adjust in four languages adjuster, adjustar, fit, positioner. I don't know exactly what language that is. Obviously Asian. I'm so sorry, I believe. Oh, and we do have instructions on the inside of information. It's down. The reason I had bought these is because it's so hard to find something compatible with my Pixel, Pixel 6 Pro. And uh, there's uh, it doesn't come with a, just a regular, regular, regular 3.5 milliliter jack. <laughs> so it says Press and hold to talk to your Google Assistant. So you can actually uh, just hold it and talk to your Google Assistant. You can actually answer calls. So very, very similar to Apple's device. You can see the device right here. It goes like around the ear, I believe, which is something I guess you can call proprietary to Google here. Here's a part about Google Assistant. And uh, I'm not sure if you can. There you guys go. There's a part about answering phone calls focus in there here are the pixel buds themselves let's just go ahead and pull them out here they're attached by plastic wrapping so I'm gonna try to pull them apart without damaging them and if I'm able to it seems to be I'm not able to. So hold on here. Actually, actually, just paper-like. 
So I'm just gonna rip it apart here. Like there's an adhesive in the middle. <clears throat> I have no idea. A double adhesive, I can't get these things apart. Okay, there we go. We finally have them deconstructed here. So right out of the box, let's just plug them into my Pixel 6 Pro. <coughs> and we'll see. Let's just load up YouTube. Oh. <coughs> my device actually does recognize. It says, now make them yours with the Google Assistant. We are going to go ahead and activate the Google Assistant. Now it is asking us to sign in. I just, I just had to pick a Google account. Let's go ahead and activate now. Okay, we, we have a prompt here. Set up Google Assistant. Use your voice to play music, call contacts, and get quick answers on your device. Next song. So, now I'm just setting up Google Assistant. Uh, a music provider. Let's see, allow your assistant to read your notifications to you. Sure. Patient access. Access to my calendar. Here's and stuff. So let's give it a try, it says. Press and hold the middle button while talking. It is actually very close to the earphone, so hold it. What can you do? Oh, okay, okay. I'm actually going to turn up the volume a little, but it did respond here. Oh, these go up a lot. These are only about 30%. So it did work. Hold up navigation. I asked it to go to like a nearest store. OMG. So I could just ask Google Assistant. It's like the, my AI assistant. This is huge. This is why I went for the more, more expensive. I could have went for like a $20 pair of headphones. And, and the, uh, it wouldn't deliver like this with the assistant and everything. So definitely if you have an official device, I, I recommend trying something out this is only thirty dollars and the the quality is amazing I I have like nothing to complain about uh, assistant compatible probably compatible with a bunch of other things able to make phone calls here while while that well twenty dollar headset might have been you know cool as it is the headset and everything you know don't have to worry about snappage bluetooth wireless or possibly the pixel the, the official pixel buds which are like a hundred dollars out of the box which is something I would like to purchase brand new if anyone else would like to. Now, is that it is, the last thing it is asking is for a one minute feedback. So we're going to actually fit, fill that out. A quick survey. Actually, I uh, watched a YouTube video, so that's kind of important. Let's, let's just load up a YouTube video and see the audio quality. So I have them at full blast here, and okay, okay, okay. Give me, give me a moment. <laughs> I have them at full blast. There was two advertisements. The first one was at like a low volume. The, the advertiser probably said it at a low volume. The second one was a little bit too high of a volume. So we're actually going to lower. Now this is this is how I know these are good speakers because at the the highest setting is too high of a volume for me. So. What do I rate these? I rate these an A. I rate these an A. So, right out the box, I didn't have to do no, no adjustments, like even to the, the like earphone size. None, none of that. So, these are straight up awesome. Shout out Pixel. Um, shout out Google. Definitely. Hey, if you if you want something brand new, definitely. I do recommend getting them brand new, guys. However. I, I could have purchased these ten dollars less, open box. So have have it as you, as you will. 
that being said you know it will not be shipped in a box it probably won't be shipped might not be shipped in the best like a uh, condition as well as like shipping handling situations it might be sh shipped like overseas or like from a distribution I say I don't know guys if they do charge a lot more for the unboxing experience and everything so there's that have that you will um, I, I personally have no complaints here. It's very easy to set up, and thank you so much for watching, guys. We, we will have more unboxings like this in the future, guys. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like so I can get more ad revenue for videos like this. And see you guys next one.